Heading up to around 30 kilometres per hour and temperatures dropping for your Sunday. Finally, cool reprieve is on the way. Today marks day 11 of a heat wave for the nation's capital. Searing heat continuing today, 38 degrees. A thundery cool change moving through on Saturday afternoon. Tropical Cyclone Penny is tormenting weather forecasters right now. We're still uncertain whether this system will track back to the Queensland coast, but we'll get to the forecast totals very shortly. Firstly, let's recap the past week. Well, not many parts of Australia have picked up rain apart from the far northern tropics. One exception is the New South Wales Ranges. Katoomba's had just over 30 millimetres over the past week, and storms dropped up to 50 millimetres are along the central ranges of New South Wales on Thursday afternoon and evening. Here are the totals over the past week. There's not a lot there. The central and southern Australia almost everywhere has picked up less than five millimetres apart from small parts of the ranges and coastline. For northern Australia, the monsoon has been active. Darwin, not quite monsoonal conditions, but you picked up 70 millimetres from overnight storms over the past week. Heavier falls through northern Queensland. That bright red shows over 300 millimetres over the past week. Tropical cyclone Penny, there it is, hovering out in the Coral Sea. Now we've got that trough of low pressure over the south which will trigger showers and storms over the next few days, mostly on the New South Wales side of the border. Further south, it's mostly rain rather than storms. Now, Cyclone Penny is likely to stay out in the Coral Sea over the next few days, but there's a huge amount of uncertainty still regarding the future track. Many of the computer models keep that system offshore for the next week, but there's also the possibility the system will track slowly towards the Queensland coast through the early part of next week and could even make landfall. Most likely it's a tropical low, but potentially still a tropical cyclone. That scenario is still possible, probably not looking quite as likely though as yesterday. But here it is coming into the coastline, but as I mentioned, it may not do that. It may still be sitting out in the Coral Sea. Let's talk forecast totals then. We're expecting good falls for the northern tropics on Friday. Of course, if you get a tropical storm, you can end up with well over 50 millimetres of rain. Less than a millimetre for most of New South Wales is an average fall, but there will be storms, and if you get a storm, as we've seen over the past few days, 20 or 30 millimetres is possible. Those storms will be more widespread on Saturday through central and southern New South Wales, and it's mostly showers on the Victorian side of the border, mostly across Gippsland. The showers will ease back on Sunday behind a cool change, so this is mostly just from onshore winds, one to five millimetres, and potentially some rain turning up for eastern Queensland early next week, but that's dependent on the track of Cyclone Penny. We could see some moderate falls, but we may only have light coastal showers thanks to onshore winds. We're just going to have to wait and see. Wednesday, that activity continues for northern Queensland, and another trough bringing storms to southeastern Australia. Altogether then, over the next eight days, 25 to 50 millimetres is likely for eastern Victoria and southeast New South Wales, so some handy falls in that area. West of the ranges, most areas only light falls. We could see 50 to 100 millimetres through eastern Queensland. Could see less, could see much more. And for the northern tropics, an average of about 50 to 100 millimetres over the next seven days. The weekend is quickly approaching, so let's take a look at the forecast. Now, in terms of rainfall, we are expecting to see some showers and potentially some storms as well for Sydney and Canberra and across southern and southeastern parts of New South Wales on Saturday. Also, a few showers moving further north on Sunday and also a wet couple of days ahead for the northern tropics. Now, in terms of temperature, we will see some reprieve from the heat across the southeast after a very hot day on Friday. We'll see temperatures cooling down across the southeast Saturday and Sunday, staying very hot though across northern parts of the country. Adelaide dipping down to 25 degrees on Saturday, 21 with a shower or two forecast in Melbourne. Very warm and sunny over in the west. Perth heading for a top of 32 degrees and the chance of a shower and storm for Sydney and Canberra. Now on Sunday, we are likely to see temperatures climbing once again over in the west. Perth heading for a top of 37 degrees, staying fairly cool across the southeast with a chance of a shower for the east coast. <laughs> Friday will be a day of critical fire danger across southeast Australia. We have near record high temperatures, strong winds and low humidity that will lead to dangerous fire levels. Now we do have a number of fires burning across New South Wales. That number's been steadily growing over the past few weeks. Early in December there was less than five fires in New South Wales thanks to heavy rain from storms. On Friday morning, currently around 70 fires were burning across the state, but thankfully at that point there were no major fires, but we could see major fires over the next 24 hours through the southeast. 
Vegetation index from December shows dry vegetation right across the country, that's the brown shading, apart from small pockets of the east coast where we have seen some heavy rain over the last couple of months. But over the past week we've had less than 5 millimetres of rain for most of the country. As a result that vegetation will be drying out. The northern tropics is out of the fire season. They've had some good rain over the past week. Today hot temperatures over 40 degrees through the central interior down to the Victorian coastline. And notice near that trough line that the isobars are close together. So we'll see fresh to strong and gusty winds today leading to elevated fire dangers. They will be extreme, the red shading through northern parts of Victoria. So in that area, fires will be fast moving, unpredictable and difficult to control, with spot fires possible up to six kilometres ahead of the main fire front. Severe fire dangers through southern Victoria, fast moving, difficult to control fires, eastern Tasmania and some central and northern parts of South Australia. Total fire bans are in force for much of Tasmania and the whole of Victoria for Friday. For New South Wales, it's very hot, but the winds aren't as strong, which is why we don't have fire weather warnings in place. Now on the left side of that trough, a cooler subtly change, dropping temperatures. That blue shows temperatures below 20, even in the afternoon on Saturday through southern Victoria. So a huge drop, still hot for New South Wales, but with a little bit of humidity and the winds not being too strong, we're expecting very high fire dangers, the yellow, but not severe fire dangers on Saturday for New South Wales. Still severe for those through central and northern inland parts of Western Australia. And finally on Sunday, temperatures have dropped through New South Wales thanks to a subtly. It's still hot across the interior, but you expect that for this time of year. The fire dangers you can see are generally high or below for most of southeast Australia by Sunday.